Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make a document holder, tag, and a pocket. But first, let's have our shout out to Black Coffee, Planning with Donna, Laura, Jen, Love for Paper, and Doreen. I appreciate each and every one of you. I have a digital here. Digital here. I actually have two of them, just like this. And my third one is also a William Morris. So let's go ahead and begin with this one. And let's fold this paper. Now I have coffee dyed the back side of my digital. This paper is approximately 10 and a half by 8 inches. And we want to fold it over 3 and a half inches and give it a good crease. Then we're going to fold it over about a half an inch. So let me just mark it right here. There's a half an inch right there. I'm going to bring my guillotine in and let's go ahead and let's give it a chop and let's cut it. So here's the guillotine right in and let's just give it a nice chop. We're going to save this because we're going to make a tab out of this extra paper. So right there. So right here I've got my other one and let's go ahead and let's fold it over three and a half inches. Uh, let's see here. Here we are. All right, just give it a nice crease. And then let's mark it a half an inch right there. And let's give it a chop. Bringing in the guillotine again. And let's just cut it right there where I've marked. All right, I'm going to set this over here. We'll use that in a minute. Now let's go ahead and let's fold this over just like this. All right, and I'm actually going to open it back up and I'm going to fold the end. My glass mat is wiggling. Let me fix this just a second. All right, so I fixed the wiggle. It's not going to wiggle anymore. Now, so we folded it like this. I've already creased it over that that half fourth of an inch. I think it's a fourth, almost a half. Okay. And then at the top, let's go ahead and fold it over just a little bit. Fourth of an inch. I'm not going to measure. Just a tiny bit. I'm just creasing it a little just to get it started. Lining up my bottom here on my grid map. And I'm going to... My grid map. That's not a map. It's just a grid. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Fold it over like that. And I'm actually going to take out this corner right here, right where the two folds are. I'm just going to remove that, just like that. I'm going to ink up, well before I start inking, I think I'll fold the same one the same way. We're going to make two. And let's just fold this over. So over we go. And get it creased here. There we go. Alrighty. And then let's fold the top down just a tiny bit. And the reason why I do that, it just gives it more stability and it will not tear. Like if you didn't do it, it might have a tendency to maybe rip or tear when you're getting your document in and out of your pocket your document tag. That's what I'm going to call it. It's a document tag. Alrighty, so let's just take our corner out just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink up all my folds with my vintage photo and then we'll continue. Alright, so I have inked all the way around. So let's go ahead and let's glue down the top I'm going to use my art glitter glue and I'm just going to place a small amount of glue right here. Just a little line right down and I'm going to crease it and glue it down. There we are. Okay, and then on this side I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just adding a little bit of glue. I'm going to crease it right down. Okay, now let's go ahead 
and let's crease it to make our document holder. So this flap right here, just going to place my ink, my glue, not my ink, my glue on my flap. Get it creased. Oops, wait, wait, wait. That's not a, at all what we need to do. We need to go ahead and put some glue at the bottom right here. That. And now we need to fold it over. Just like that. Okay. There we go. Now it's our little document holder. So cute. Let's finish this one by this is where I forgot to put my glue at the bottom, so I'm just saying that this time so you know exactly what I mean. Put the glue at the bottom and then put the glue on the little fold over flap. Alrighty. Lid back on my glue and press it down, fold it over. And now we have our document holder. So very cute. Let's go ahead and let's decorate these a little bit. So I'm just looking to see, I'm going to decorate the side that doesn't have the little fold over. This is where it's folded over right here. I'm going to turn it over. And for the this green one, I have, I don't know which is, I think I'm going to put the black velvet ribbon on here. So I do have my glue gun already and I'm just looking to see the middle and or do I want to put it right at the middle? I'm not sure about that because what I want to do is I'm going to get, I've got these, remember we made these not too long ago and I've been using mine. I really really like them. I'm over here looking for my little faux postcard that came from my porch prints and I wanted it to go actually I think I'm going to change it up I'm going to put this one over here because I like that red with this print and then I have these things to go on this one and then this one looks good with this one right here so I think what I shall do is I'm not sure. I don't think I want it to be that large of a pocket. I think I just want it to be maybe two inches tall. So let's go ahead and let's put glue down two inches from the bottom and then we'll put some across the bottom and then two inches up. And then let's lay our faux postcard right on the top just like that okay now all I'll need to do is trim it but I'm going to just let that sit for just a second before I trim it I'm going to glue the other one so let's move it over and place it right here and glue it two inches up you can see the glue a lot better on this one. There we are, two inches up. And then take our faux postcard and just place it right here. And then we'll trim. There we go. We're using this as our pocket. A pocket on the front of our document holder. And wipe off my glue. I'm going to wipe off any glue that's on the back. And I'm going to check this one and wipe it as well. Then I'm going to bring in my scissors and we're just going to trim. Give it a trim. Easy pocket and so cute using a faux postcard. That is adorable. Now let's get this one trimmed. All right. Next, what I'd like to do is I didn't trim that very well, did I? You can really see that I did not. Let's get that a little closer. 
this will hide a world of fussy cutting that's gone wrong. A little bit of ink will really help things out. I did forget to ink the top, didn't I? Well, I should have inked the top before I put it on, but I can still fix that. Alrighty, I've inked the top on this one. Alrighty, so we're just adding our ink and I'm going to add it on this side as well, just in case I didn't do a good job cutting, although it, I did better on this page than I did on this one. Alright, so there are our pockets on here. So let's go ahead and see about decorating these up just a little bit. I thought just a little bit of blue doily would be pretty on here. And maybe, maybe a little piece of this... I'm not sure what to call it. I like a label. It's from my porch prints. And then I have a shabby dabby doodah umbrella. I just thought that that was really cute together. So let's go ahead and let's glue our postcard down. I mean our doily down. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little... <laughs> We've got a storm coming in and so I'm kind of paying attention to the weather. And I should be paying attention to my video. Alrighty, so we've got the video the video down. <laughs> we've got the video down. <laughs> I'm totally discombobulated, aren't I? Alright, so we've got the doily down. And let's get our label down next. Just like that. And then let's get our cute little shabby dabby doodah umbrella right here. Let's get that. I think I like it to go right there. That's cute. That's very cute. Okay, pressing it down. Now I'm just going to trim it. Give it a little trim. Okay. Oh my goodness, that is looking so cute. So very cute. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring in this blue ribbon here. And let's place it right across. And I would, thought I was going to measure it, but now I'm thinking I'm just going to place it where I think it looks good. And I'm thinking I like it maybe about right there. So I'm going to take my hot glue because it hot glue makes a video makes it so much easier. It's permanent, it's quick, it's easy, it's just great for a video. So I just laid my ribbon down. I'm not going to wrap it around. I'm just going to glue it right on the top. So you would be able to slide this easily into a pocket or a belly band. Or you could clip it onto a page with a altered paper clip. You could do that. I have a little bit of that net that I've been using lately. I thought I could just place it right on top. And then this wax seal I thought was really pretty and just finishes off the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my, my little kind of a rectangle with the points up. Maybe just alter it, just a little cattywampus. And add a little bit of glue right there in the center. Let it cool down just a few minutes because if you add it too quickly, it will melt your wax seal. And then just lay your wax seal right over the top and let it go ahead and, and grab a hold. Now I do have right here, I have some bling and I have some labels. I'm thinking that maybe a label right up here at the top would be really sweet. I don't know which one I would like. I kind of like this bigger one. So let's go ahead and glue this one on. So right like that, just a little bit of glue and pop it on right here. Okay, not completely at the top, but I think that's looking great. Now let's go ahead and finish decorating this and then I'm going to show you how we're going to put a tab on our document. So I have a little digital uh, mushrooms here and I will say down below 
where I got these mushrooms from. I can't recall right off the top of my head, but I was thinking maybe a, a faux stamp that's from My Porch Prints and then maybe something like that. I like that. So let's go ahead and let's glue this down. So there we are. And then let's get this one and glue this one down. Just like that. And then let's put a little glue on our fussy cut here. Our pretty little mushroom. I think it's such a pretty color. I think it goes very nicely with this as well. Now for this one, I have that velvet ribbon, and I'm going to just place it probably about right there. So let's go ahead and add our glue right across. I'm using my grid lines to get it as straight as I can. Just pop that right on the top. Then I have my beautiful wax seal that I think is, is just gorgeous color with that and I thought I had one cut but here it is. I thought I had one cut. Oh here it is right here anyway. <laughs> Get that on there. Oh my goodness that looks gorgeous on there. I'm going to go ahead and trim this so I can free myself of this bolt of ribbon. There we are and then I'm going to cut this in. There we go. Alrighty looking good. So next I'm going to add my little bit of my dotted Swiss net. It's kind of a big piece. This is a smaller piece. I think that's going to look better. And then my wax seal. Once again I'm just going to add a little bit on the ribbon. I'm going to need to let it cool for just a few seconds and then plop my wax seal right down on there just like that and then I really thought this one was pretty I think I'm going to add that right here and this these labels both of them are from by J. Lee Lou on Etsy pop that right there now do I want to add any bling on here oh you know we have to add a little bit of bling don't you think I think we definitely do. I'm not sure where I want to place it though. Do I want to place it? I think. Yeah, I think I want to place this one right above this stamp right here. And I need another glue stick. So I'm going to grab one. All right. So I put my glue stick in my glue gun. And I'm ready to add a little bit of glue on the top of this bow stamp. And then a little bit right down the side here where this beautiful blue doily is. Add one little bit underneath that doily just to make sure it's stuck nicely. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? I really like this. Now, what we need to do is move some things over to the side and bring in our pieces that I said save. I'm going to glue. I'm going to first fold it up about about an inch and a half. I'm going to fold it up on both sides about an inch and a half approximately. Okay. And then I'm going to glue it down. So put glue on here. Just like that. And let's glue these down. Press them nicely. And while these are drying, let's bring in our documents. Now, these documents, these are from Roxy's Creation. These I'm going to have to look up and list down below because I thought that one would go nicely on the green one. And this one would be nice on the blue one. So let's see what the opening is. This is, I think we said, three and a half inches. So that's a little more than, no, that's three and a half. Okay, three and a half inches. So let's fold this to three. 
So I want to fold it the long way. So I'm going to fold it three inches over. One, two, three. Three inches. Come on, Kathy, get three inches. Approximately three inches. And then we're going to fold this one over. Okay. And then we have to fold this up. So I'm going to fold it up, and it's going to get folded up about how much? About two inches, almost two and a half. Okay, just so it will get in our pocket. So I think it will fit in nicely there. Now what I always like to do is I like to spend a little bit of time. Now I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna show you and then I'll come back after I do mine. But I like to ink all the creases of my document on the inside and the outside so that when you open it up, it looks like it's been folded for a long time. So it really gives it that vintage feel. So I'm gonna work on inking this up. I'm gonna fold the one that goes inside the green one. This one goes inside the blue one. I'm going to fold the one that goes inside the green one. Isn't that a gorgeous piece? Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. And look at all that journaling area that you're going to have when you take it out. I think that's fantastic. And don't forget, we also have our little pocket on our little document holder as well. So let me fold the, the other one and ink them up and I'll be back. All right, so I have my documents folded. I have them inked, and this is what they look like when you ink them all the way around. Oh, I actually forgot this one right here. <laughs> all right, that's how it looks. And then it looks like that. So it looks very vintage. And let's fold it up. Now, while they're in here, like this, to be able to get them out easily and to give it a little extra, you know, the ones that we glued, just a little while back, I've got my tab punch, and I'm just going to punch out one of each. So I've got this one, and now let's punch out this one right here. All right. And then I'm going to need to go, go ahead and grab my sponge and just ink around. Now, if you don't ink, of course, you wouldn't be doing this part, but I do love the way the ink gives it that vintage look. So just inking it up, giving it a little color. Now, on these documents, right here at the, you know, it's all folded up like this. So right here at the top, we're going to take our glue and we're going to take our tab. And we're just going to add a little bit of glue onto our tab right here, like this. And then I'm just going to stick it right on the top, just like that. And glue it down. Make sure that you're not gluing your page together, the document together. We're just putting that little tab right there on the front part of the document. So when you open it up, it's not going to bother anything. You're still going to be able to journal on it, but when you take and fold it back up and you place it into your document holder, look how cute that is that is so adorable so once again you're just going to add your little tab right here on the page that's folded completely it doesn't have this little flap on it it's completely without a fold and then it fits right into your document holder and it's just like this Oh my goodness, you guys, I absolutely love these. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.